patrons who join my $10 tier can pick which shows I cover on It's Just a Cartoon. There's a limited number of slots available, so sign up now. Jimmy, Sheen, and Carl are using gold they stole from their families to power their new hover helmets. Sheen spots a beehive, fucks around, and quickly finds out. Lucky for Sheen, Jimmy has a custom poison spray specifically for killing bees. Huh. So I guess that's what happened to all the bees. The helmets quickly burn through all the gold, rendering them useless. Instead of redesigning the helmets to run on a less expensive fuel source, Jimmy suggests they all get jobs. The trio head to McSpanky's where we're introduced to Skeet, the greatest man who ever lived. Jimmy fails to pass Skeet's vibe check, as he's able to see with his third eye that Jimmy's big brain attitude will not serve him well in the food industry. Carl and Sheen adapt well to their new roles, while Jimmy struggles as a cashier. He refuses to use the cash register while taking orders as he's able to do the tax in his head, even though the register keeps track of all the orders for business records. He also refuses to use the McSpanky slogan and refers to table salt as sodium chloride, like an asshole. After being demoted to mascot duty, Jimmy tells off his boss, claiming he can do a better job than him and then leaves his shift several hours early. That night, Jimmy breaks into McSpanky's and turns the place into a fully automated operation, making all of his friends' jobs redundant. So he had enough resources to completely renovate the restaurant, but still needed money to fix the hover helmets? Sure. Instead of firing Jimmy on the spot for restructuring a chain restaurant without corporate approval, Skeet allows Jimmy to run the restaurant the way he wants. The new McSpanky's is a hit, complete with its own HAL 9000 customer satisfaction analyzer. The restaurant is making buttloads of cash, which will mostly go to corporate since Jimmy and his crew are locked in at minimum wage salaries. Skeet is in the middle of giving Jimmy an undeserved apology when Mr. Neutron comes in to ruin the vibe for everyone. He complains how he'd rather be at Taco Shack, reducing customer satisfaction to zero. For some reason, Jimmy gave the restaurant the ability to fly, as it goes on a rampage destroying every restaurant in town. Which might be for the best considering the themes of some of these places. Hard left! We can still make it to the big pilgrim for a mild sandwich and a mocha hotis. <sighs> After McSpanky's causes millions of dollars in property damage, Jimmy destroys the monster he created by tricking it into flying into the sun. However, the restaurant is commandeered by space pirates who now have access to Jimmy's advanced tech and set out to find Skeet. And the gold for Hover Helmet's plot never gets brought up again, because after using all their profits to pay to fix the city, Jimmy was probably sued into the ground by McSpanky's corporation for turning one of their restaurants into a flying genocide machine. So remember, kids, if you're looking for a job in the food service industry, your intelligence and your ego are your least valuable assets. Don't spend your whole shift trying to prove you're smarter than everybody when you're the one who agreed to sell your freedom for $8 an hour. Make sure to log all purchases correctly and do what your boss says without being a whiny passive-aggressive taint. If you get overwhelmed by your job, it's better to quit than try to one-up a greasy-faced man who will completely forget your name the moment you leave the building. Don't go behind your boss's back trying to make the workplace better. Everybody knows you're already better than the dumbass with weird eyebrows who will inevitably run his business into the ground. And if you end up building the restaurant of the future, for the love of God, make sure it isn't capable of committing mass murder. And even though Jimmy Neutron is an egomaniac responsible for every major disaster he's ever faced, there's no point in getting upset. Because at the end of the day, it's just a cartoon. Is there a cartoon you want me to talk about? Patrons who join my $10 tier can pick which shows I cover on It's Just a Cartoon. There's a limited number of slots available, so sign up now. Coming up next. Where am I? Welcome. Welcome. You've to kingdom come. Kingdom come? What's that? 